1989 is when I got the offer. I was still at Marvel under contract. The three networks were very much dominating uh, television broadcasting on Saturday morning. But what had emerged was syndication. And syndica Disney had Disney Afternoon, and Warner Brothers had a block of shows that they were doing in syndication. Tiny Toons was one of them. And uh, the atmosphere was that the networks were king. That was the sentiment. And as a matter of fact, when I got the offer to take to do the Fox Kids, start the network, my friend Judy Price at CBS, who had been the one to uh, identify Muppet Babies as a, as a good idea to, for me to pursue, uh, she said to me, Margaret, you're going to ruin your career. Don't, don't go to Fox. You can't do a fourth network. And to be fair to Judy, that was the sentiment of everybody. Everybody. I got calls from friends and colleagues who said, don't do it. You're at the top of your game. You just won all these Emmys. You've got great stuff going on at Marvel. Don't do it. Don't do it. And you know, the more they said, don't do it, the more I became intrigued with the opportunity because Fox had a real vision, and that was a smart vision. Now, I remind you, this is before the preponderance of cable Cable was mainly reruns. So Fox's idea was they had all these independent stations that they had created, aggregated to be this network. And there were the stations, many of them were strong in children's programs. They carried these syndicated blocks. So if they had a network, a fourth network for kids, and they aired it not only on Saturday mornings, which was an island of entertainment for kids, but also Monday mornings and Monday afternoons and two, through the week, afternoon and morning programming, we could basically outmuscle the three networks if we came up with good programming. The fact that we would be on 21 hours a week mm -hmm. rather than five hours a week, we could be king. And this was very much Barry Diller and Jamie Kellner's business vision, and it was, I thought, very compelling. So I felt I loved Marvel. I really had a good run, and I enjoyed Stan, and Marvel Comics was very supportive of me. But I hadn't been successful with their properties, and I felt like maybe if I went to Fox, I could do their properties. So uh, I took the job thinking that, I really took the job because I was inspired by the vision of Kellner and, and Barry. Barry Diller and Jamie Kellner, I thought that they were on to something. And interestingly enough, years later, I felt before anybody else, we were number one, and I was looking over my shoulder at cable, Cartoon Network and Nickelodeon, because they were starting to develop original shows, and I thought, uh-oh, I outmuscled the three networks. I put on the right programming, but we had a bigger platform, they're going to outmuscle me because they're kids 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And I was really nervous about that, which is why I urged my corporation, Rupert and Chase Carey, uh, let, let's buy a cable channel. Let, we better be in that business. And that's eventually what we did. But um, it was. Uh, it was the perfect time to launch the fourth network in kids, and that helped our success.